Honkai Star Rail. This time we're checking out the Myriad Celestia trailers because I haven't seen them. So here we are, which I guess they're kind of like the equivalent of Genshin's character teasers compared to demos, right? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Before we get started, you know the vibes, besties. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. Check us out over on Twitch. I stream every single day at Alicia X Life. You're currently watching Alicia X Death. Alicia X Life is my Twitch. Anyways, let's get it. Also, I upload on this channel every single day. Every day. So, if you get bored, I am here. Hi. Let's go. Kafka. Kafka. Stellaron Hunter. How do you plead? Oh. The crimes you have committed are beyond pardon, but the Chapella Brotherhood respects every individual's entitlement to the afterlife. God damn, it Admit looks scary. Admit your guilt and embrace your punishment. Uh, I'm listening. How do the Stellaron hunters... I'm sorry, they got her in the Makima outfit? I'm sorry, and you think I'm... <gasps> Woof! <laughs> bark, 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 bark! Woof! Punishment. Uh, I'm listening. <laughs> How do the Stellaron hunters plead to the following accusations? You breached the premises of the Atuine Universal Auction, manipulated the guests, decimated the artistic treasures under the gaze of the I devout mean, audience. I mean, that's just the average Tuesday. Damage amounting to over 860 billion credits and absconded with the auction item. How do you plead? Guilty as charged, but not a devout audience. You infiltrated the cyber prison of Inupis, stole the Sigma Rod to deactivate the firewall, allowing a flood of data demons to enter reality, consequently propelling the world toward a judgment day, all in order to take the meta code. How do you uh, think? guilty? I admit it, but those data demons deserve a taste of freedom. <laughs> My bitch, a uh, wacky agent of chaos. She said, fuck them. Eh, they deserve to have some fun. Anyways, got what I wanted. Mm, yes, nails done, pussy out. You know the vibe. <laughs> you violated the ring world Golconda, disseminated the philosopher's poison virus across all colonies. Philosopher? Such as the philosopher stone. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Just a little bit of... A little bit of Alchemist Brotherhood in my, in my blood. Golconda disseminated the Philosopher's poison virus across all colonies, causing 46 million inorganic entities to turn into rampant machines, and stole the steel core from Golconda's point of gravitational equilibrium, silencing the entire world. How do you plead? Oh? Sounds like a page out of the Japella Brotherhood's playbook. But sure, we took the thing. Hmm. The Trovis disappearance. The Lore 51 Stellaron event, cyber attacks against Planet Skrulum, the Beerpoint incursion, and so on. A total of God, the music for this trailer is so gorgeous. Do you admit that all these malicious incidents were the work of the Stellaron hunters? <laughs> if you ask me, it seems like the Annihilation Gang has their fingers in quite a few of these pies. But I confess, it seems you forgot one though. The Japella Rebellion. What? Okay. Okay, girl. Hey, eat up. You should really stop playing with your food, Kafka. <laughs> Who did? This character is more attractive to me than most. What is happening? <laughs> What's this one? <laughs> when did this happen? Oh, is that Blade in the background? It is. I was like, God. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh. Next time. This time, it's already too late. Which, love that. I keep. I was going to call her Hacks or Bunny. Love Bronya's there, but like, not our, not Bronya. You know what I meant. I was going to call her every single name but her name because of uh, Honkai Impact 3rd. So I was going to be like, oh, Haxer Bunny. No, Brony. I mean, no. Uh, <laughs> I went into the spiral of calling her the, all the other shit. <laughs> Silver Wolf. Yeah. Anyways, it's like they like 
she's cute and all. I'm, I'm, I'm attracted. But they have Blade, Kafka, and whoever the fuck that dude is. Jesus. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> okay. Let's make an exchange, shall we? An exchange Part one? of memories. I dreamed of a ray of light, of a crystal chalice. The light that shone from that crystal spoke to me. Listen to the parable of the stars. Oh. The nameless one, the pathless one, arrived from the edge of the wilderness, clad in stellar it's radiance. It's so pretty here, holy shit. Go now, march unwaveringly into solar wind. At the end, you will return to my embrace, but march towards the light. Yet oh. that light began to burn, piercing through the clouds as a golden death. Towers ah! crumbled, and the people fled, for the sun was soon to set and meet with vicious destruction. But be not dismayed, O oh child of the world. The That's what they're showing the one for each of the paths. That's cool. The wicked abominations. You must follow the traces left behind in the storm's wake. Nanook is hot, I agree. The celestial one guards their secrets, plotting out the roots that connect all things. Oh, we read the backstories of these characters. We were walking. Like a shroud of mist at the center of the universe. Listen to the silence, and you will know where the stars are resting. Hmm. Let your staff strike the earth. A name. Once. Uh oh, toes. Yeah. The tender sprouts will grow to the sky, and the dew that falls from their branches. Holy the shit, that's cool. Sickness and poison. Blindfold your eyes, they say, that the approaching darkness may strike no fear in you. Let it not burden your soul. I'll be super hot. Be Your're super hot. Your stride. Push open the majestic gates, they say. Oh. And lift up the tablets of lapis. Read them aloud. Let the fire that forged the bricks and the ones that laid the walls foundations be known. Then, they say, Oh, you who have reached the end, enter into the paradise that envelops all. Join in this great choir and feast. Listen to the beating of billions upon billions of hearts, holding you in their embrace. What? Look upon the courtesan's extravagance, the mariner's intemperance. Listen um. to the infant in the mirror, the waves as they enter the dream, the tipping of the balance, the shapeless <laughs> prince. And this is finally, gorgeous and cool, but I want to go back to the other part. Against yourself. And take all such things to heart. Oh, March 7th! This is the path. Oh, we stuck inside the ice, yeah. They say. Lucky Billy, depart once more. Lucky Billy. Countless shooting stars streak the sky tonight. Should you choose the right one, it will carry your wish to thousands. Of distant worlds. Holy shit. <laughs> I want to go back to. <laughs> then they say. Harmony is so oh, cool. You who have reached the end, enter into the paradise that envelops all. Join this great choir and feast. Listen to the beating of billions upon billions of hearts, holding you in their embrace. Look upon the courtesan's extravagance, the mariner's intemperance. Wait, she wasn't stuck in a chunk of ice, but stuck inside an aeon. I mean, that was just that's just a theory. That's not a real thing. I haven't like that's there's nothing from the beta testing that would give us the impression of that. I just I just assumed that. That's all. 
So, that just depends. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's super cool. I regret to admit it, but the Xianzhou have very few legends. For what room is there to create legends among those who do not die? But there is one distant legend that can still be recounted. The story of the Cloud Knight Generals. Wow. It began 8,000 years ago, when the emperor of an ancient kingdom yearned for both legacy and immortality. He sent our Sienjo ancestors into the astral seas. Titles, huh? And through the boundless stellar reaches sailed, great ships in isolation softly veiled. Oh. After voyaging 2,000 years, the ships discovered traces of the divine. Woohoo! The plague's author revealed themselves and offered an immeasurable lifespan. But the blessing was a curse. Wait, how so? What happened? Those who exceeded their lifespan became the deathless doom. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> and thus the Alliance's long and peaceful years were lost in sickness, what the fuck? treachery, blood, and tears. At the very precipice of the Sienjo's existence, the Rainbow Arbiter descended and redeemed the crumbling Alliance. For the next 5,000 years, the Alliance voyaged the vast cosmos, purifying the universe under divine mandate. Oh, that's cool. Heading the six ships were the vanguards of the hunt, the seven Arbiter Generals. Oh! Behold at the martial side, six generals of renown. Fierce and swift is Fei Xiao, the Merlin's claw. Goddamn. Strong and righteous. So we're saying Jin Wan's gonna be in this one, right? The flaming heart. Cautious and sophisticated is Yao Guang, the seer strategist. <laughs> this animation is so freaking cool, and dude. <laughs> is Xuan Quan, the Seish Queller. Mysterious and fair is Yo Wu, the Patina Justice. Wise and brave is Jing Yuan, the Divine yeah. Foresight. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's cool because he's like known as the general, so I just didn't know his backstory at all. I never played I never played Planet 2. So I had no idea like anything about his backstory because we never got to him in the story for back when I beta tested. I only had to play like beta tested Planet 1. That's super cool. Oh man. I am gonna be like so new to all the lore coming up when it, we get to next planet. That's oh, that was exciting. I know they changed a lot of the music tracks and stuff like that too. So like the music changed a lot of the game over time to a current release as well, which is awesome. The seven Arbiter Generals wield extraordinary powers. Intelligent and visionary Jing Yuan of the Law Fu is admired by friends and feared by foes. With skillful sleight of hand, the trap was set. The Borson soon, with crushing loss, were met. <laughs> An army must be of one heart and mind, where skillful sleight of hand is little use. The Cloud Knights entrusted their lives to me. I shall not fail them. Glory to the Xianzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! Glory to the Xianzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! The hunt is with us! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Quite the story, Master Gongshu. And now I go back for a second. Wise and brave is Jing Yuan, the divine foresight. God, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just like, it's so weird to like go from like 
how there was so much that I knew about the game, and they completely changed the plot of the game, and then I knew of that plot of the game, and then they advanced it so much. There's so much that I don't know now because of how like th- how fast they developed the rest of it compared to like what I tested back in the day. So it's like it's so cool to just see stuff like this fleshed out. To even have like pictures of different aeons is completely crazy. We only had like two pictures back in the day. So it's like, okay, cool, man. Like we had silhouette pictures, but we didn't have like full ones. And it's like, it just, I don't know. These are really sick just to see like how far it's come. I have traversed great lengths seeking a piece of history. The history of long the permanence. I too know little of the progenitor of all dragons. Before the dawn of history, long traversed the burgeoning chaos, seeking the answer to existence. And on that path, the revelation of the permanence was unraveled. Then came our emergence, us long scions. I visited Liaris, a world encircled by five suns. The giant dragon sat overseeing the journey. What? The change of seasons, shelter, the lives within. Could the revelation of the permanent signify the timeless nature of one's greatness? That's so cool! The pursuit of individual immortality will only breed an unending multitude of malevolent creatures. True. Such is the fallacy of the plague's author. So then does the permanence represent the continuance of bloodline? I also journey to the ancestral home of the Infernalian people in the land of white embers. The undead dragon Typhon's breath showered flames on the land below, Whoa. bringing forth a flourishing lineage. Long scions are dispersed throughout countless worlds, living in solitude. In the vastness of the universe, the rise and fall of one race is of little consequence. It is said that the Vidyata are formed an alliance with the Xianzhou. And that five elders descended upon the mortal realm. Oh! Keep watch over the plague mods. That's cool. Perhaps the permanence is the noble ambition that ensures the safety of the universe. <sighs> Alas, Imbibitor Lune forsook his oath, causing a state of great disorder. The high elders too bear mortal frailties. Sorry if I'm being more good. quiet than usual. I usually like start yapping, but they're giving me so much information that I'm just kind of soaking it in. And normally I would have a lot more to say, but it's like, this is all so new to me that I'm just kind of like vibing. And I hope you're vibing with me too. Hope you're having a good time nonetheless and just kind of enjoy the animations. But I'm, I'm just like enthralled because it's just, oh man. Oh, it's just so cool to see how they like started world building with characters that. It's ultimately becoming the shackles which bind them. Because like the thing was, is that before they ever revealed what would happen to Dong Hung, we got like a reveal of his concept art way back in the day. And we're like, why the fuck this motherfucker got horns? Why he all dragoned up and shit? We had no idea. But like, we got to have his art. I got to have like a package like two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago. They, Hoyover sent me a full package with just a bunch of Dong Hung stuff because they knew how much I love him. And then they sent me stuff of like, like whole ass, like, like figurines and shit of him in like his other form. And I was like, that's not even in game. What the hell is this? <laughs> right? So it's just really cool to see it go from like that, where no one even knows anything about it, to them having like a full-fledged story for these characters now. And like, it's not dong a hung. <laughs> Come on, chat. Ain't no way. Come on. Your perspective. What does the permanence's revelation truly signify? As the sun and moon rise and fall, the world undergoes continuous change. So the concept of stability is meaningless. Actually, I'm gonna go back and read that. Continuous change. So I elder of the Yao Xing, successor of Wind Dragon, servant of storms, bound to watch over the lunar ember. The concept of stability is meaningless. The lunar ember. Only by comprehending and aligning with the way of th the world. Sorry. Can uh, high elder of the zooming successor of the horned dragon wielder of heavenly flame bound to watch over the primordial flame and one's path lead to everlasting existence countless new creatures high elder of feng Lu, feng Lu, successor of the scale dragon tamer of the ebbing frost uh bound to watch over 
miniature mirror. Nations emerge when one dragon meets its end among the morning stars. For the Vidyadara, this is the true teaching of the uh, terrestrial dragon, uh, ponder of congealed silence, bound to watch over the fall. The follower? Within the cycle of life, any endpoint may mark the inception of a new journey. And for him, it is no different. I love him so much! Ah! <laughs> He's so pretty, is she? Ah! <laughs> I, I love him. Traveling with you has stirred up my curiosity. What drove you to pick up the sword at such a young age? Well, I suppose there's no harm in telling you. At first, it was the general stories about the previous sword champion. I'm sorry. He's I know he's probably a good bean and I should like his character. But I have E1 of him because I lost 50-50s. And now I don't fucking like his character. <laughs> I don't care, man. I just installed the game. I went to go pull for a Laosha and for a Charon. And then I got E1 of him. I'm done with him, man. Fuck that guy. <laughs> All right? I don't care if he's lovable or a good character. He ruined my day. He ruined my wallet. <laughs> told me about her unparalleled skills, her unmatched prowess with a single blade. It inspired me that one day I could earn the title myself. So, it was the allure of renown. I also wanted to live up to the general's expectations and repay him for the gift of his teachings. Where would I be without him? Aww. Then you wish to forge deeper ties. It's more than that. One day, I'll run into battle alongside my Cloud Knight comrades, defending the Wafu and striking down those who threaten us, putting my abilities to their rightful use. <laughs> Ambitious. In the end, it all comes back to fealty. What's with all the questions, miss? Why did you choose the path of the sword? I, too, was once shackled by fame and fortune, impeded by bonds and loyalty. But in the end, the sword moves beyond such notions. Okay, damn, bitch, For damn! The sword is just a sword. Okay. An instrument determining life and death. All right. Nothing can tarnish its essence. I'm sorry, low key, she just said, fuck all human decisions and bullshit, I. Cause swords seek nothing. It's either life and death, bitch. It's that simple. And I like the simplicity of that shit. That's what she said. I'ma just translating, you know me. <laughs> when you've walked the fiery trail and cut through every impediment, can you understand the purpose behind every swing of your sword? Holy, what the fuck? That last visual was insane. Do you understand now, future sword champion? I wield the sword to vanquish my enemies. Nothing more. Yep. <laughs> and now, our battle begins. Holy shit. <laughs> Quickly, stab the child. Quickly, make him stop showing up when I roll in my 50-50s. <laughs> Quick, bitch, chop him down. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. I mean, no disrespect. My bad. Don't mind me. <laughs> hey, there, you. Yes, you. Wait for you. The gem filled with endless potential. And hold Got on to your hats. Okay. The IBC's gem identification system will ensure that each and every talent you possess will be harnessed for intergalactic peace. Okay. Do you have the thrill of adventure coursing through your veins? I really don't. Actually, I don't have any adventure coursing through my veins. I've traveled in my in my early 20s, and now I'm old, and now I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I would like to sit in my computer chair and hit keys. I would like to do nothing else with my life. Thank you. <laughs> If so, our marketing development department is rolling out the red carpet just for you. Oh, marketing the development department. The way, a vast number of new worlds will soon be a part of our expansive credit system. 
If you're someone who values structure and logic, our business consolidation department offers the perfect stage for you to shine with products twinkling like a million stars. This department has created a spectacular trade network that's measured in light years. Heard of hyperdistant delivery systems and synesthesia beacons? What was once science fiction is now reality. Proudly produced by the IPC. Got an idea that's nothing short of genius? Look no further. Our technology department is waiting for you. Join us. Do I talk this fast? Some people in my videos tell me I talk too fast. Do I talk that fast? Is that how fast I be talking? I just want to know. <laughs> Is that what it's like? <laughs> I got a no and a yes. Nah, you're good sometimes. It is. No. Damn. Y'all are really 50-50 on that. Fair enough. And team up with the Intelligentsia Guild. <laughs> when the glitters of fortune and title dim before the luminous path of the Amber Lord, know that the Building Material Logistics Department is the sanctuary for the most ardent of followers. Oh. Become the cornerstone of our operations. Every show new place with precision plays a pivotal role. Brent will form the backbone of our formidable subspace bearer. If you're someone whose qualities go beyond the ordinary, unyielding in the hardships of storms, this message is for you. At the Strategic Investment Department, talent is the most precious investment of all. Origin, background, irrelevant. Diamond okay. seeks out the unique and the extraordinary. He said, don't worry about your history. It can stay a mystery. I'm all about what's going on now. Those who sit at the table will determine where the wealth pours. The Talent Motivation Department is just another division. It's a shining beacon of a power. Top talent deserves top perks. Honestly, <laughs> give me that. <laughs> give me that. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My brain works off of positive affirmations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what? Y'all would smash? This? <laughs> what the hell, chat? Of a power. I was excited top to talent deserves top perks. Oh, perks. That's why the talent motivation department was established. Every task you undertake serves as the pioneering spark that sets Beer Point's passion ablaze. For those seasoned in their craft and still hold on to cherished dreams, our operations are as everlasting as the sway of ocean tides along the shore. Witness the traditional project department's great supervisor, Arena, ready to capture the treasures the tide unveils. Oh. Take the leap, join our ranks, and climb to unparalleled heights. Shape the destinies of myriad worlds, and make the history of the galaxy your very own footnote. Nothing the cool as fuck. The of the Amber Lord has struck. A realm of endless opportunities beckons. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. A realm of endless opportunities That's beckons. a nook for real, for real. Where? Waiting for you. Dang, I feel like I just sat through all for the Amber Lord. Okay, that's sick. I feel like I low key sat through a commercial in Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> kind of crazy. <laughs> when the Xian Shou people roamed the galaxy, they inevitably made strange beings. So lots of spooky stories start with these encounters. Oh, we saw this character in um. On one such occasion, the Ten Lords Commission Judge received a decree ordering her to subdue a demon. Excuse me. You won. Where are your manners? Huh? compass? It can't be. Oh. Oh my god, this poor baby! Oh, the baby! Careful. Are you okay? Let me help you out. That's all. Thank you. That's my, uh, yes, you came here for great inputs and, uh, you're welcome. 
That's my. <laughs> I don't word very well. <laughs> Good take, thanks. Knock, knock. The door isn't gonna hold much longer. Knock, knock. Oh, she's Naruto. That's sick. Good for her. Dang, shut up, Nine Tails. Relax. Coming down. Oh no, Karuma. <laughs> You asked for a spooky tale to grow some guts, didn't you? This is what you faced on your first day. Why are you shaking in your boots? <laughs> Get your soul back in your body. <laughs> That's enough courage training for today. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? It ain't over yet. Oh, <laughs> she's she's adorable. Mother, Ooh. your letters are always welcome. I love blossoms. The plum blossoms bloom and wither, and I occasionally catch a scent of loneliness. I once again am thinking back to the research in my childhood, together with you in no man's land. That comfy cabin, teeming with boundlessly joyous forms of life. Those days are unforgettable. I understood the vastness of the universe too early. I was different. Oh, <gasps> that's a bean. That's a bean. <laughs> Pretty song in the background too. But that's a bean. Look at her as a bean. Look at her as a bean. It around me. Lamenting the process of life is the origin of my thinking. I began to realize that I longed for something pure. Attachment involves the insular cortex, which controls anxiety and pain. The laws of emotion can be easily broken down. Hey, can you cure my anxiety and pain? I got a lot of that shit, bitch. They got me meds. I'm running out of that one. I meant this one. There we go. <laughs> I fix me, bitch. Fix me. <laughs> Children are more well behaved when they receive random rewards. All right, give me random reward quickly. Gib. Gib. Where's my random reward, Gib? Thank you. <laughs> when I discovered how easy it was to cultivate a planet, I began to feel empty. <laughs> the play goes, hi. <laughs> so cute. Oh, it's so cute. I began to feel empty. <laughs> in a planet, I began to feel empty. That's so cute. I increasingly understand that I long for more fundamental research. Recently, I've had some different thoughts. Why is such a headache? At first, so I was terrified of its appearance. It is born of wonder, of does not resist, and does not grieve. It is the, the closest time. thing to the feeling I had when I was a child. It asked me, where does the Oh, that's actually really pretty. It's a nice transition too. But it has nothing to do with me. I explore the mysteries of the universe and seek deeper answers. Uh, I have nothing to lose. This feels eerily similar. Any uh any Honkai Impact third players? Anyone play a post Honkai Odyssey? Any a post Honkai Odyssey players? Part two of post Honkai Odyssey? When you go to the separate realms? Same vibe. Same vibe. And nothing to gain. 
If life is cultivated and reproduced, you can dissect remembrance, control equilibrium, deconstruct beauty, and reproduce permanence. I will understand life and touch on these conceptions. And perhaps I, too, can become an evil. Become a what? I'll become an Aeon. Pretty song. Worry not, my dear assistant. I will reward you. Nice. I deserve rewards. I'm a good bean. Thank you for watching me. I like that they have like um Worry not. That they have Stella. As a character in the trailers. That's cool. Because uh, at Genshin, they do it with Aether all the time, right? For, like, their trailers and shit. So it's nice to see, like, it's Dele for Honkai Star Rail. Hanakali, planet of festivities. A cradle drowning in dreams. A haven for the cowardly. What? Tone change. The has summoned guests for its grand celebration. What the hell? The what the fuck? The destruction as an offering to them. What? Why is this so different? Children of the flame, this marks your right of passage. Oh, it's so creepy. I lit a fire in your eyes and showed you music of the strings. <laughs> Serenade the celebration and hush the harmony into muted awe. Ah. It will be done, father. Dura, I set your former light and taught you master. Oh my the god, blade. this uh the skeletal spine within the golden apple is gorgeous. Temper it with sulfur, made the elation, and let the performer's blood and tears pour into the abyss. As you wish, father. Katarina, I kindled a flame in your heart and granted you blood of fire. Use your wrath to shatter the preservation sanctum and build their gold to create a statue of our savior. You got it, old man. Oh. And Constance at last. My most ambitious and exceptional child. There is nothing more to teach you. Just remember, without Pelicone's midnight hour, strip away all they hold dear and leave naught but the remembrances too. <laughs> she won't be necessary. I can take them alone. Katarina, a little pessimism might be wise. What if we all end up dead? Okay. All right. Since when have those on the path of destruction feared death? Okay. Still, it is wise to plan ahead, Father. What the fuck is that? <laughs> this? Okay, this is my favorite one so far out of these. This is sick so far. Holy shit. What is our fallback if things become perilous? Fall back. Such a thing does not exist. Destruction. He said, I don't believe in no backup plans, you dumb bitches. You either get it right or get the fuck out of here. That's what he said. It's brave and heroic. To cling to life is to delay in cowardice. Relish Penacone, savor its invitation. Prepare this beautiful dream to welcome its new master from Fedora. If he looks cool as hell, man. <laughs> Duke Inferno, ever flame Damn! <laughs> that was sick. That was probably my favorite one so far. A dazzling item. Are you looking for its owner? <laughs> oh. Allow me to divine. Using your Revisiting a past dream. Oh. Ooh. 
What? Okay, okay, bro. They like upscaled their animation 30 times over. When you go look, look at their first one with Kafka, it was still really good. But the way it evolved to this is insane. <laughs> like... Oh! <laughs> oh, it's so cool! Wait, is this the third planet? Oh yeah, we saw a bit of it in the trailers uh, from the, my trailer reaction video. For the character trailers? I don't realize how like, swanky the whole place looks though. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Dude, this is their excuse to put her in a bunch of different outfits because she's so pretty. That's their excuse. It's for this trailer. They're like, how many cute outfits can we put her in? All of them. Make her jump from thing to thing. Go, go, go. Which I agree with. She looks fantastic. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, we've seen her before. Like, she's just been like, um... Wasn't it in the... Oh, maybe it was him, actually. It was one of these two we saw in the blonde hair guy's one. The one who's all traumatized and with blood on the screen. I thought we saw one of them in like the reflection of a screen or something. One of these two. I can't tell which one it was though. Oh. <laughs> the truth does not lie. Neither do memories. Predestined paths have already converged. She has arrived. Oh, I love that so much. Because she's like, oh, yeah, like she's like tells the future and tells what fate is, right? And then she's like, oh, like, oh, cool. Like, there's a woman that you saw within your, like, within your memories, blah, blah, blah. Like, we can, like, go back and kind of see, like, all reconverge and come together in the future. But then she was like, what the fuck? Who this chick? Why is she messing up these memories? What the fuck happened here? And I should look at through her tarot cards. Please show me what was... I was looking for come on. <gasps> oh! Oh! <gasps> oh! It's the dude from the previous one where he was like, We must blah, blah, blah. We only have plan A. Never heard of plan B in my life. Don't agree with abortions. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> that menacing infernal fire absorbed by the vast, profound sea. And that sea surprisingly dwells on the planet of festivities. Oh, that planet looks so cool, dude. Oh, man. Sparkle's character trailer was one of my favorites, so I'm excited it to see this one. It doesn't matter who I am off stage. All the audience needs to know is that when I'm on stage, I'm just Sparkle. It's you, my beloved mask. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. Okay, this is just VTubing. Am I wrong? Is this not just VTubing? <laughs> right? <laughs> when I'm angry, you're still smiling. <laughs> when I'm sad, you keep on smiling. You're like a veil that I can hide under. Oof. <laughs> the one wearing the veil. That sparkle. It's you, my beloved mask. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. Ooh. 
When I'm angry, you're screaming too. When I'm sad, you're crying too. God damn. You're like a mirror showing my reflection. The one in the mirror, that sparkle. Oh my god. When I'm happy, you're screaming. When I'm angry, Oh my god, my bitch is crazy! When I'm sad, you're smiling. You're like a face staring at me. <laughs> I'm not Sparkle. No. I am Sparkle. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so in love with the fact of the repetition that they used. And, like, it kind of reminds me of the Nahida character teaser, which, like, I know I talk about Genshin and Honkai a lot together, but it's like, versus massive dumb for it. So I mean, it's, like, the same lines over and over again, but the way she says it makes it more heartbreaking each time they repeat it. But for her, and they do change the lines, but they rearrange it and they make it so that it's like opposing each other. So that shows like how much of how crazy she's become. It's so cool. It's so cool that they did that. When I realized life was just a play, yep. I wanted to leave the stage. Because off stage, there's an even bigger stage. Oh. What do you say? <laughs> Who's? The real sparkle. Holy shit. Oh, it's so cute, too. They have, like, different like versions of her and different outfits and stuff around as well. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, my God. Hell, yeah. A cleave Do across transient worlds. Why Izumo forged these blades? Because in times past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here, they wrought death and disaster on this world and its people. Oh shit! To save the world, HOT? Izumo splintered 70,033 blades and forged them into the 12 Sentinels. The first was Truth, forged by the Sovereign of Revelation. It could teach mortals the way of the law and create miracles from the deconstruction of all things. Oh? The second was sky, forged by the eternal zenith. It could form a barrier from the firmament and prevent oh. the of gods of misery from passing through. <laughs> the third was how, able to summon lightning to rend the heavens and meteors to rain down divine punishment. The fourth was mist, able to break earth and tear cloud with fire. Oh, so is it like, is it supposed to be like divine keys? Or is it supposed to be like Hersher powers, but they're like within weaponry instead? What's, what's the vibe? I'm trying to figure out what the parallel is supposed to be. Interesting. Hershers? Yeah, that makes sense too. Okay. The fifth was frost, freezing the land. Hersher but weapons? Okay, cool. So I was right about the second idea then. The sixth was fate. The restless cycle of life and death. Dude, spider lilies are so cool. Then there was flare, thought, root, form, bind, maw. With those sentinels, we seized. Her sure of binding. 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 No one could hurt you. No one could hurt you now. No one could hurt you now. <laughs> Just Hokai Impact third players having massive trauma and just it being casually mentioned. Just simple. Oh, yeah, binding. Anyways, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> We're just shaking, holding ourselves. <laughs> On tomorrow's expectation, winning uh, victory after That looks so much like her blade for a uh, Lightning Empress. It's crazy. All of them were broken. Broken? Wait, what the fuck? The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. Excuse you? And in the end... What? That entirety was lost. And so Izumo splintered twelve sentinels. 
and forged them into two bearers. The first was Origin. Oh! The second like, yeah. was End. Oh, no. Is it supposed to be, like, finality? Is that what it's supposed to be? Because like, she's like, oh, no. Because... Because in, in Honkai, she, oh no. May, what happened to Kiana? <laughs> what happened to Kiana? <laughs> what do you mean, and you're just showing corpses? What do you mean the other half is this? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> it's Japanese, uh, this is Kevin's voice actor. That's actually super cool. I guess, you know, just grab a Kaslana while you're at it. Fuck it, I guess. The world forged 70,047 blades, and only one could save Izumu. <gasps> Which, well, hold on, stop, pause. Did you say that it's, it's Kevin's voice actor? So technically, that would also make sense, because Dr. May, in his era, huh? Hold on, ooh. That's cool. The road to salvation does not exist. Holy shit, this is so cool. There is no trace of tomorrow. Oh my god, my girl go off. My girl go off. Oh my god, she dropping bodies. Resisting the Kamigami, humanity will eventually become Oni. We pawned everything. More for the destruction of two worlds. Woo, baby! Many times passed. Takamagahara, upon which the Kami descended, was surely Beautiful as Izumo. So, do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because of a lie. An end that never existed. We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward, one that we can never walk back. Until the last blade is forged into not. Sorry, just to answer one thing in chat. Um Yeah, so like there's two things that like we can kind of note from this. Is that one, if it's Kevin's voice actor, regardless it's the Kasan it's the Kaslana bloodline. So though Kiana herself is technically a clone, but like whatever. Anyways. Um is in Kevin's timeline. He was in love with Dr. May. And that's May's... May is still, like... She's technically not the same May. But she... But, like, all all like, all like people are interconnected with themselves, right? Your soul is always interconnected with other timelines. Regardless of what affects them, right? But they can all act differently. But it's, like, the same essence of a person. So it's just kind of interesting. Because you could... you could I don't think either theory is wrong until they prove it to be so. So if someone's like, oh, it's about, like, her, like... But Dr. May and Kevin and her slicing through and like breaking him and then blah, 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 right? I could see that. Or I could see it as a Kiana thing where it's like her having to kill Kiana in order for this, for order to save this timeline, whatever. Because like, for example, like we have like the GGZ animation for like the, the redo of the world thing where Kiana kills May <laughs> and everybody technically. But that's like the redo thing. And then we have like Honkai Impact 3rd where it's like May saving Kiana and making so sure that she doesn't go over the edge. And then Kiana does the same thing towards May as well for, like, Lament of the Fallen. And then we like, it's like there's, like, different routes that everything can go in. And they've proven that time and time again that things do have different routes. For example, in Honkai Impact 3rd, Kiana saves May from trying to commit suicide in Nagazora. Right? So it's like, I don't think any theory is completely wrong until they tell you flat out. Because of how many different versions there are of the story iterated in different timelines. So, yeah. So. It just, it's just sad because, like, to think that, like, it's a world where she, or it's either, like, she killed Kevin or she killed, like, uh, Kiana. Either way, it's fucking horrifying and sad because Kevin himself was basically the chosen one originally. And then Keanu became the Hersher of Finality. Not. Or both. Both is a very real option, too. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, and that makes sense why her hair turns white, because it's like she has the half and then she killed the other half as well now. Oh, fuck. I knew this world was fleeting. And yet. And yet. And yet you wanted to save it. Oh my god. You knew it was fleeting, but you knew you wanted to save it still. Oh my god. That is so cool. Yeah, I mean, like, they're going to unravel it over time, which is, like, a beautiful thing about Hoyoverse. Is a lot of the time, people with Hoyoverse theories, everyone speaks as if it's fact. But it takes time to get there. Like, we've, like, there was, like, so many theories about what Otto was doing. And it took us, like, a whole year to even get close. It, was, it actually took us, like, three to four years to get even close to what he was actually trying to do. You know what I mean? So, like, at the end of the day, like, theories are cool. Listen, I think it's really important to state this one thing. Unless the game flat out says it or confirms it, like, let people theory craft. It's okay for someone to be wrong as long as they're having fun theory crafting. It's super important to, like, be able to have fun. And when something is proven wrong or right later, that's okay too. Like, just have fun. I think sometimes it's really discouraging or sad for those channels who are theory crafting channels to have to go through a lot of bullshit because fans are, like, so like, rampant. So, you know, just chill out, have some fun. <laughs> well, we'll spoil, like, the Honkai impact uh, in the story, bruh. Uh, I mean, Welt's existence, if you want to, like, learn more about it, you can read, like, Alien Space, the manga. That will help you a bit more, too. Um, but, I mean, the first Honkai impact is already done, like, part one. Now it's, like, new characters and shit. But, yeah, I mean, I, rec I strongly recommend playing Honkai Impact 3rd. I think it's one of my favorite games I've played when it comes to story. And, uh... The, like, my, my big advice, if you decide to pick up Honkai Impact 3rd, is play, like, hit chapter, like, hit chapter 9. It gets good at chapter 6. It's, it's fun and, like, think of you as playing a fun and cute game for the first three chapters. Fun and cute. Don't overthink it. Don't expect to get into Honkai Star Rail levels of edgy yet. First three chapters are fun and light. When you hit 6, things get real. When you hit nine and you finish chapter nine, you're officially a captain. That's called your initiation. That's when you have officially become a member of the Honkai Impact third community. All right? And that's what everyone says, welcome captain, for a reason. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being awesome. I hope you enjoyed this reaction, and we'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to hit that like button. <laughs> I will be posting more Honkai Impact, uh, sorry, Honkai Star Rail uh, content. Uh, the reason why I don't do Honkai Impact 3rd anymore is because someone was falsely copyright claiming me every time I posted gameplay. Not even reactions to the trailers, just gameplay. So, like, me walking around in Elysian Realm, they were copyright claiming, and uh, I lost one of the cop- I tried to contest it to be like, no, it's my own gameplay, and I lost it. I got a strike on my channel, so I was like, uh, nope! <laughs> no more Honkai Impact 3rd for me, so that's the reason why I stopped playing it. And, uh, yeah, now I'm gonna be back on Honkai Star Rail. I'm on Genshin again, which is really fun so far. And I hope you stick around for those two games. And as well as daily uploads, I do random reactions. I do variety. I do video games of different varieties as well. Hope you stick around. I'll catch you later. Bye.